Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 74 of the Aspirations Challenge. Um, oh, okay, looks like um, Leo has finished his um, work project, so that's good. Um, I got a payday from that as well. So, in the last part we found out that Sydney is pregnant with her boyfriend Dorian's baby, which is a little unfortunate given that he is not a great guy. Um, he really hasn't been around that much throughout her pregnancy. She only recently told her dad. She did tell her mom right away, but sadly, um, Sid uh, Diana died shortly after. Like, literally, probably an hour later. So, yeah, Sydney is, um, here she is, pregnant, living her best life, trying hard. She's dancing. I did give Rocco a wellness treat. He was super sick in the last part and throwing up everywhere, but he's good now. As you can see, we have moved Sydney into Diana's old room, and um, we've also got a nursery set up for her baby. So I thought what we would do is like a little um, nursery reveal, I guess, and uh, it'll also reveal the gender of her baby as well. So um, we're gonna look at her old room. It's a boy. Um, so she is having a baby boy probably in this part. There's still a little bit, bit of dog vomit on the carpet, but that's okay. Um, so yes, we've got a little nursery set up. My game is sometimes kind of laggy in camera in that mode. The, what's it called? It's not kind of theater mode? I forget what it's called, but my game sometimes lags, so I didn't spend too much time in there. But the nursery is all ready. I've got a couple of names in mind as well. Uh, what's Leo up to? Um, I was getting him to work, make website pages. Oh, he has to do three of those. Okay, that's why it went so quickly. Go ahead and do that again. I guess he gets paid for every one he does. Also, the house that I want Sydney to move in it, into is $113,000. Um, so it's pretty expensive, but I don't think it's unrealistic. Um, she's already at 88 plus the 20 she'll get when she moves out. So I definitely think we should be able to get there. Um... She's just trying to dance. She's trying to be happy. We've also got these four dogs, which have become a lot of work, honestly. Um, just, to, like, training them and keeping them all happy has not been easy. Um, they all want walks. They all need to be house trained. It's really frustrating, and I'm hoping that we can spend a little bit of time training them. Otherwise, I don't know if we can keep them all. And I don't even want to say that because I love them all so much. But, oh, there we go. Sadie has learned to pee outside. That's good. I love them all so much, but they are a lot of work. And our house is constantly in a state of disaster. Let's empty the trash on the uh, vacuum cleaner and get it to start doing a cleaning routine because it's kind of disgusting. And then we'll get Sydney to take a nap because she is really tired. Turn off this music in her room, I think, so she can actually um, take a decent nap. And then he is almost done with his website page. Get him to go to the bathroom and do another... Oh, wait. We can't do it yet. I think we have to wait until the second one is actually complete before we start on the third one. Oh, my God. Still getting those errors. Um, so, yeah. Just, just basically ignore those. It's been happening for a very long time. Uh, oh, has been recognized as a rising star. Well, that's weird, considering he had... We kept getting the notification saying that his fame was going away. That's very odd. Okay, you don't need to do that. Um, lecture about barking. Why is the dog barking at us constantly? Well, let's get her to grab some food before she actually like goes to bed for the night. Um, tomorrow's going to be a pretty big day. We have a baby on the way. I think she's in her third trimester now. Yes, she is. So it's going to be interesting to see how she steps into that role as a mother. Because she is doing it completely alone. I kind of went over this in the last part. Um, her mom probably would have been the only one to actually help her. And she's now gone. Um, and Leo, I mean, he wasn't even that helpful when Sydney was a baby. So we definitely can't count on him. And Dorian um, didn't take the news that well. And basically hasn't been around since he found out that she was pregnant. He hasn't even called. Um, so I really don't know what's going to happen with their relationship either. Stella is hungry. There's always food available. <laughs> like, this is almost never empty. They should be just fine. Why are you watching TV? You should be fast asleep. Go to sleep. Well, that was weird. I'm starting to understand what this error is. This error pops up every time my sim changes in from their regular clothes 
or what I guess when they should be changing from their regular clothes because they're just not doing it. Um, Stella aged up, so now we've got an elderly dog too. Where is Stella? This one? She's an elder? Her and Rocco are both an elder dogs now. That's okay. I definitely think we got. I was saying in the last part, I wasn't sure if we got Rocco as a puppy, but I'm pretty sure we did get Stella as a puppy. I'm quite confident in that. Um, let's go to you grab some food. Turn on some lights here. And you can wake up. You're about to have a pretty big day. <laughs> She's about to become a mother. Um, and then she'll grab some food as well. It's Saturday, so she doesn't have to go to school, which is nice. Um, she honestly probably doesn't have a lot of school time left anyway. Who is still sick? I don't think anybody. There's still all this vomit all over the house, but I don't know who's sick. I don't think anyone is. Ew, that dog's eating it. That's disgusting. And realistic. That's gross. Okay, this dog. How is Stella... Like, she's an elder, and she still isn't house trained. That's kind of annoying. Let's uh, maybe do like a club gathering. We should probably add some more people to our club. Let's add those three. Why not? <laughs> Just because I want to finish uh, like a part of her aspiration. So let's turn on um, hip hop and dance together. We also have to get points as well. And... There was a girl whose last name was Lynx, and I do want to see, I think it's Carly. Uh, I believe she was friends with her when she was younger. I'm curious if Carly might be the sister of Dorian. I think the best, because they have both have red hair and the same last name, that's all I'm going off of. But I think the best way to find out is after the baby comes, we can just check the family tree and see. Fire, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where? Where is there a fire? Hold on. Oh my, this stupid woman tried to do our laundry. And they all come running into this room. You guys are so dumb. Oh, they, these two sims are on fire now. Well, that's what happens when you pack yourselves in here like sardines. Oh my god. And you know what? Sydney is, um, like, basically invincible because here extinguish this because she's pregnant pregnant sims don't die so I'm really not worried about her right now thank you for that um you just cost us so much money Ugh. what an idiot okay let's get um Leo can come clean the floor I had some stuff I wanted her to do um I wanted to like talk about the club or whatever how do I not know this guy See, we have club members that we don't even know. Like, we've never even met them before. Holiday. <laughs> um, I want to... Does not have room for new members? Well, hold on. If you're not in the club, then I don't want to talk to you. Is this guy in the club? Who are these people? I think they were just people from the street that came running to help us with... Yep, yeah, they're not even in our club. They just came running to talk to see what was going on with the fire. We don't really need them. Don't talk to that guy. He's completely useless. Talk to these people. And then talk to this girl as well. Uh, talk about that squad. And then talk to this guy. Uh, and then I think that should get us that one little um, thing we have to do. Talk about club with, clubs with five club members. That's all we have to do. There we go. That's it. Uh, we just have to get our our charisma scale to level 5, and that's pretty much it. Everyone here is having a good time. I like how she is about to be a mother, and she's still hanging out with her friends in her bedroom listening to music. Like, she's still a teenager. Go to the washroom, please. Uh, what is Leo up to? He's taking the trash out? Oh, you're actually being useful. That is impressive. Continue making your web page. I kind of want to call this whole thing to like an end because, yeah, I'm overwhelmed by everyone that's in our house right now. They, they all need to leave. Um, she can still dance though. Let's dance this baby out of here. That's going to be our, our goal. Just keep dancing. I would like her to change clothes as well because 
Ah. Um, all of her outfits are really cute, actually. This person needs to leave. Like, why are they here? Devin Kibo. How do they have such a close relationship? They barely even know each other. Married to Yumiko. Okay, then. Oh, wait, yes, you can actually keep dancing. Um, I just wanted to see her in some other outfit for once. That would have been nice, so that's why I did that. Uh, let's also go and... We don't care to name the web page. I really don't. Okay, so Leo got paid again. We're at $94,000. That is really good. Let's find another gig. I just kept... I get him to make more money constantly. Let's do this one. Instagram servers. Um, study security systems. And then she should go and eat something. I think we'll go to the hospital to have the baby and... I, I don't know if Dorian will meet there. I'm not exactly sure. Sometimes, usually the dad will show up. Um, I mean, I could see Dorian showing up for that at least. Like maybe, um, I was going to say maybe his parents made him do it. But he's not even a teenager anymore. He's actually a young adult. He aged up. Um, who is that? Is that her uncle Jasper? Oh, it is. Interesting. Well, you know what? That's kind of nice if he came over. Um, they haven't even actually met yet, which is really sad, so let's do that. Leo doesn't even care to leave the guest house to go meet his, or talk to his brother. He was gonna go clean up a hair pile. No, don't do that. Um, hack server systems. Yeah, her and her uncle probably have a lot of, like, catching up to do. Um, ask about his day. Discuss interests and... Talk about barnacles. That's very odd. Oh wait, hold on. He said something. Oh, he only came over because he heard that Leo was getting famous. Oh. Okay, now we've got this brother that is clearly using him. This sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. It feels like she has nobody that she can really count on. That's kind of sad. Go start the cleaning routine on that. Um, also, we and hold on. We haven't done laundry in a while. What else do I have to do for this job? Write a report? That's it? That was a very easy job. Almost too easy. And I know it's not quite done yet, but still. Okay, you're just standing in that thing's way. Let's get her to go have a nap. She's clearly tired. For whatever reason, she couldn't actually nap. She could only sleep, so that's fine. Um... You are being really gross. <laughs> Just sitting there eating trash. This is the same dog that, it, that was eating vomit earlier. Oh my god, I can't keep up with these dogs. At first, oops, uh, at first I was happy that we had four dogs, but now it's clearly just too much. And Leo has some kind of weird sickness as well. I honestly feel a little overwhelmed at this point. Jasper is still here? No. No. You have to go. Ask to leave. And you can leave that food there. She's gonna eat that. Excuse me, put that plate down, please. Jasper didn't come over to check on his niece. He came over to see if he could mooch off of his famous brother. Um, go eat some food. So I wonder, does Sydney have any fame? No, she doesn't. So I thought maybe she would have some fame because her dad is famous, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Gone into labor. Okay, hold on. Stop eating those eggs. We got something else going on. Um, she should definitely go to the hospital. Um, have baby at hospital. Do we want to join her? You know, I never do, so... It's just, it's kind of a waste of a loading screen. You know they're going to come home with a baby. So what does it matter? Is he going to go with her to the hospital? I don't think he is. Oh my god, he's the worst. He's going to get some food out of the fridge. While his teenage daughter goes to the hospital to have a baby by herself. This poor girl. <laughs> Sydney is having a baby. Oh, what last name are we going to give it? Like... I don't even know. Okay, so we could either do, is this too long? We could do Fournier links, or we could just do links. 
To be honest, I'm kind of over the Fournier name. I know we've literally had it for like four generations, but I'm kind of done with it. I think we could do Lynx. But that kind of is a conflict for the first name that I've chosen, which is Max. So Max Lynx. Max Lynx. You know, it's kind of cool. Or Max Fournier. Max Lynx. I, keep, I say it out loud and I'm like, that doesn't sound real. Let me just look at it like this. I mean, would Sydney Max Fournier? You know, I honestly don't think Sydney would give him Dorian's last name. Like, why? You know, or, or we could do, we could do Max Fournier links, which is super long. But I think I kind of want to do that. No. <laughs> no, it's just going to be Fournier. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, Sydney and Dorian had a baby. So, you know, we should definitely invite Dorian over to meet his baby, even if, like... Oh, I wanted to check and see if that Carly girl is the aunt of this baby. So, this is the dad, Dorian. He's a table cleaner. He has a half-brother named Beckham, and his parents are Natalie and Ezekiel. Oh, okay, so he... Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I guess that girl, that the last name Lynx was just something... Well, like, a coincidence, possibly... Um, let's go ahead and invite him to hang out. And when I say hang out, I mean meet his son. <laughs> and then Leo is just having some eggs. He'll get around to meeting his grandson a little bit later. Um, I honestly don't know if he would care that much, which is very sad. Um, in the meantime, let's look for a job to do. We'll do this one. We're running out of jobs. Um, let's do chat with client. So there's Dorian. He has come to meet his son, although I don't know if he's going to care, honestly. <laughs> he might, though. Usually they go, like, when a parent comes to the house, they go right to the bassinet. So let's see if that's going to be a thing. No? Oh my god. Like, really? Your, your son is over here. I know you may not care. How do I get him to come over here? Um, I thought I could call him over. Well, that's offensive. I fully expected, okay, hold on, let's change her into a different outfit. I fully expected him to come look at his son. He's just ignoring him. Let's go over here. Okay, oh, hold on. Oh, he's running away from the dog. You're such a wimp. Let's go and um, act tough, uh, attempt to steal money. Let's go shout forbidden words at him because, you know what, he didn't even bother to come and meet Max. Oh, you bara. <laughs> he was like afraid of her. Well, really, I like. He's sort of ridiculous. So they're having a bit of an argument, but I mean, I think we should still go and just spend some time with Max. Um, oh, he's hungry. Okay, hold on. You know what? We couldn't be bothered to talk to you right now. How was I supposed to know he's hungry? He's fast asleep. Go feed him. And you, um. Oh yeah, he's chatting with client, and then we have to make website pages. So it's the same thing as last time, where we make three of them. Oh, hold on. No, I wanted her... I didn't even get to see her hold the baby. That is not fair. Go talk and rock. This is so weird to me that Sydney is a mom. Like, how did... Well, I know how it happened, but... <laughs> it's very weird. Oh, boy. I never expected Sydney to be a teen mom, actually. Like, this is very weird for me. Um, I pictured things going a little differently. To be honest, I did not plan on her getting pregnant. Um, ugh. I just want to take a screenshot. I, that's all I want. But it looks like I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've got the not responding message. That is, like, that's a death sentence. That is not good. I don't want to replay all this. Okay, looks like we might be good. You know, for whatever reason, it just doesn't want to go into the camera mode, which is like, unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think we should be okay. Or not. Oh my god, it's glitchy. Okay, let's just take this screenshot while we can. Um, there. There we go. 
her and baby Max. I was conflicted about the last name, but I'm glad that I chose Fournier because it's very obvious that Dorian hasn't earned that last name. And I definitely think you should. I don't think that the dad should just, you know, automatically be given, or the baby should just be given the baby. Wow. The baby should be given the dad's name just because he's the dad. I definitely think you have to earn that title. Um, let's go to bed, I guess. Um, it might be an interesting first night. You never really know. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. She is on her own in the house, though. Okay, hold on. What's going on here? Ask to go potty. Dorian is still here. You need to leave. It's definitely time to go. Thanks, though. And then we'll go to sleep. And then what's Leo up to? Oh, he's almost done. Okay, um, yeah, he just, I don't know why he wanted to stay around for so long. He still, you may have noticed, did not, um, interact with his child. And now we gotta go change a diaper. She's gonna be so busy. Okay, then you can go back to sleep. This is going to be really hard for her, I think. Like, she still wants her teen years. She still wants to be a pack leader. But I don't know how that's going to happen. We are now at $100,000. Holy crap. It's been a long time since I've made that kind of money in this game. I don't think I've made 100000 in a very long time. Sydney is inheriting um, a pretty good chunk of change from her dad. So, you know, if nothing else, at least he did save a bit of money for her, which is nice. Let's see how old she is. I don't even really know. Three days. So in three days, she'll become a young adult. Um, she didn't age while she was pregnant, obviously. They never do. Um, so in three days, when she becomes a young adult, we are going to move out. I've already selected the house for her. It is a house that I have built. Um, because every time I build a house, I say that I would love to play in the house, and I never actually get around to it. So this time, I'm going to make sure that I can do that. Uh, Leo, let's get up. Go make some breakfast. Let's do breakfast scramble, I guess. I mean, the least he could do is make some food for Sydney. She's been up a few times in the night with the baby. She's feeling very sad from baby fever. I think it's time to add a new member to the family. This baby is, like, hours old. That is... It is not time. It is not time to add a new member. Let's go turn the thermostat off because it's the first day of fall and we just... We don't... We don't need that on. Uh, let's put this in the fridge, and then she can go have some for breakfast. I guess today we'll get Leo to go meet his grandson, too. He still hasn't gotten around to that. I mean, he's aware that Max has come into the world. He just is doing nothing about it, which is really sad. Go take a shower. She can't even eat her breakfast without this baby crying. I really feel for her. She is, like, doing this all by herself. And all she wants to do is eat eat some food. Go, um, feed, change, and bounce, I guess. Meanwhile, Leo's having a great morning. He got up, he's having a shower, he's gonna go meet Max now. And then Sydney, um, let's go replace this. Turn on hip-hop and go just, just go dance. Oh, she's too uncomfortable to dance. Okay, fine, go watch TV. I don't care. Something that gets her fun to go up would be nice. Um, let's get him to go cuddle Max and see how he feels about that. Because let's remember, Leo hates children, so he's not that drawn to Max. That is cute, though, that he gave him a kiss. I do think that's adorable. Now I want a screenshot of him with the baby. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, we already know he doesn't like babies. And I don't want Leo to be a bad guy. Like, I feel like that's what I'm turning him into. And that wasn't really my intention. <laughs> Let's, um, also bounce. I guess he can try to help Sydney a little bit. I'm not sure if he's going to be any good at it, but he can definitely put in a bit of an effort. Um, and get right back to work after that. So I don't know what's going to happen with Dorian. I'm kind of thinking they're probably going to break up, but, I mean, I could also see Sydney giving him more than one chance and... Just being very frustrating about the whole thing. You know when girls are with a guy and they, they treat them badly and they just keep going back to them and making excuses for them and it gets really ugly for a while? I can definitely see Sydney doing something like that, um, which is a little unfortunate, but it's true. Go get some leftovers, please. 
Why? Because there's so many freaking dogs in your way, we can't even walk. What is going on? You know what? We have too many dogs. We just do. I think when Sydney moves out, we're going to have to not bring them with us. Um, or maybe we'll bring a couple, or I don't know. We do know that Rocco and Stella are both elders, so it's not like they're going to live forever. Um, and I feel bad for even saying that like it's a good thing, but they are going to pass away soon, and that'll leave us with two dogs, which is just a little more reasonable, I think. Um, I don't have a problem with bringing two dogs to the new house. The new house is... Um, it's, it's not huge. It's probably just like a basic family home, I would think. But, um, it's definitely big enough for two dogs. Four, it's, only, it's bigger than this house, so we know that we've got that. Um, what can we do now? Let's take out this trash. I feel like Sydney would just want to go out with her friends or something, and she can't do that. She hasn't been able to do anything like that. Um, we... Oh, she could go practice her speech? Nope, she's too uncomfortable. Okay, go do laundry. <laughs> that hasn't been done in a really long time, so we should definitely work on doing some laundry. I'm sort of hoping that Max doesn't have Dorian's, like, flaming red hair, just because, like, not because I have a problem with red hair, but because I don't want him to remind me of Dorian. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> Oh my god, they've done something with the bowl again. See, where does the bowl go? It's like a mystery. They take it away, and I have no idea where it ends up. It's like a game. Where is it? Oh, these dogs. Seriously, they are so annoying. Okay, well, it looks like we gotta buy a pet bowl because one of them took it away. Like, great move there. What kind of idiot animal does that? Like, do you want to eat or not? You don't get rid of your food bowl. That is, that makes no sense. Pets, nope, not decorations. Pets, there's your bowl. Please don't get rid of it this time. It doesn't make any sense. Go fill that up. There we go. Okay, Stella is hungry. Well, I have now filled it up, so you should be good to go. We'll empty the trash and start the cleaning routine. Oh, Leo broke his computer. Go repair that. Oh, oh, the baby's crying. I didn't even notice. Um, let's go feed him, rock him, and cuddle him. Also, we should think about a career for Sydney when she becomes a young adult. I'm not really sure what she would want to do. Let's invite Dorian over again. Oh, he wants to come over and hang out. Um, yes. That saves me from calling him. Okay, you know what? That's him making an effort to come see his son. That's what I take that as. Because um, he called, so that's good. Let's compliment his outfit. I mean, I think she should be nice to him because she's, you know, happy with what he's doing. He's self-absorbed. This guy has the worst traits. He's a kleptomaniac, he's mean, and he's self-absorbed. Good luck making a relationship work with this doorknob. Oh, he just did the prenatal panic thing. You know what? It is definitely too late. Uh, let's also do kiss neck. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> Whisper seductively and um, embrace. As much as I don't approve, it's still happening. Um, so he's just shoveling some food into his face. Leo, you don't live here. It's kind of just working out that he's letting Sydney keep the bigger house just so she can raise her son there for a little bit. And then once she moves out, because Leo is not materialistic. He doesn't really care about the house or anything like that or anything inside the house. He just wants to um, be left alone. He just needs his computer and that's it. Um, I was giving Dorian the chance to go change Max's diaper. Oh, Oh my god, he's doing it? Is he gonna do it? I'm testing you. <gasps> he is! Or he's gonna struggle with how to care for his child. Yeah, he has no idea what this baby needs. Oh, can you move over? He needs a diaper change. You don't know what you're doing. Okay, you know what? He definitely did try though, and I do appreciate that. Let's go hold hands again. And hug him. And heartfelt compliment because she's so pleased for what he's doing. 
Let's go fill up this and fill the little bowl as well because that's also kind of empty. There we go. And I think that I will leave this part right here. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching.